Two separate cases of animal abuse that captured the hearts of a lot of our viewers and made them mad as well. A kitten tortured with paint and dogs found starving at a city worker's house. Tonight News 13's Alex Tomlin has some updates that will put a smile on your face. Alex? Dick, it's hard to forget the images of the three starving dogs and the cry of a blinded kitten, but you'd barely know these animals were abused when you see them now. Remember Tuffy, covered in paint and left in a dumpster to die almost two months ago? We didn't know if he was going to make it through the first night. Here he is now. He barely shows signs of the torture he endured. Just a cloudy looking left eye. For the rest of his life, he will carry that scarring, but he has recovered. So overall, we're, we're very happy. After we first told you about the kitten, a viewer came forward and paid for Tuffy to see an eye specialist. Dr. Nicole Vigil says that made all the difference. Tuffy has full vision now. Foster mom Donna Smith nursed Tuffy back to health. He's normal, happy, healthy, run, play, tear up the house. After providing the love he was missing, she can't let him go and is adopting him. You can't send him off somewhere else. They, they, he's my family now. He snuggles with me at night. Dr. V Hill is hoping these guys also have someone to snuggle with soon. Rockstar and Caesar have made amazing transformations from how they looked just two weeks ago. Their owner, a city worker, surrendered three pit bulls, all close to death, starved, tick and flea ridden, and in pain, but not anymore. They just decided they were going to survive and they were going to gain weight and they were going to do it in a timely fashion. And so we're, we're just so happy to see them in this condition now. Dr. Vigil says the pits are gaining weight quickly, and even though they will still need more treatment, putting them up for adoption here, and you know, in the next couple of days, and we're going to talk to whoever is interested in adopting them and make sure that we find the perfect loving home because they deserve it. Dr. Feehill says they've had a lot of people asking about these pets since we first aired their stories, but she says there are a lot of abused and neglected animals that don't make the news that are also up for adoption. Dick? Thank you. Alex Tim Chavis, the owner of the Pit Bulls, was fired by the city from his job and charged with animal cruelty. Animal welfare officers have not been able to learn who tortured Tuffy the kitten.